Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to stream audio out of your DAW into um, Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio. Um, that way you can go live on uh, Facebook Live or Twitch or something of the sort. So here we are in the mix window. Um, I'm in Studio One. This works in every DAW. Um, you can actually do this in uh, Pro Tools. However, in Pro Tools, you're going to need a plugin called Blue Cat and I will make a tutorial on how to do it in Pro Tools later. So for now, this should work in almost every other DAW. So here we are. Here's my master fader here. And I put um, Restream, which is what the plugin's called, on the end of the master chain. So we're gonna open that. You're gonna come to a screen like this. Um, leave this alone and I'll explain why here in a second. So. You're going to click send audio slash MIDI IP, drop this down, hit local broadcast, and what you'll notice is uh, when you hit play, you'll get meters here. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so you have meters. That's good news. So now we'll head over to Streamlabs OBS. But before we do this part, make sure you go to this website here. I'll put it in the description. And what this website does is um, it provides you with the plugin called Restream. So go to this uh, Reaper website, click the 64 bit version or 32 if that's what your system calls for. Download the plugins. And the plugin we're using today for this is called Restream. So here we are in OBS. And what you want to do is click on your source and add an input capture. So you click source, go to um, input catch capture, which I've already done. So I'm not going to do it twice. And then we will scroll down to the input capture. Click the little cog wheel, click on filters, edit filters. You would click add filter, scroll down, and there's a VST 2.x plugin. It supports most plugins. Um, some plugins do not work. Uh, for this case, it does work for Restream. So go ahead and hit VST. Go to your uh, drop down menu here select restream which mine already is and then you can hit open plugin preference or plugin interface sorry this is open in streamlab now okay so on the identifier you can name this whatever you want in your daw first but just know that if you do that it has to be spelled um, exactly the same way in the uh, streamlabs portion if not you won't get a broadcast and another important point is if you have a VPN running, the local, um, this part here, one second, this part here, when you're sending out a local broadcast, you will never get a stream in uh, the OBS version if you're on a VPN. Um, I found that out on accident <laughs> and it was driving me insane. And as soon as I disabled the VPN, it, it came right back on. So. So anyway, go ahead and hit receive audio and make sure your DAW is on send audio. And so let's go back to Streamlabs real quick. Another important thing is when you're on your audio input, go to properties and make sure you select a device here that is not being used. So as you can see right now, I'm using the um, the gaming headset driver. Um, what it does is it kind of acts as a host. So select something that's not being used from your drop down menu and you should be good to go. So after that, you will notice if I click on filters here, edit filters, it's already open, okay. So I will go back to studio one We'll hit play on my mix here. This is the end of my master chain. 
Looks great. We'll go to Streamlabs and see if it's working. Okay, it's working great. And so yeah, that's how you uh, stream to um, OBS. And I hope this was useful for you guys. If you don't mind hitting the like and subscribe button at the bottom, I surely would appreciate that. And um, as always, I enjoy your support. Thanks for watching and have a good day.